Hi friends, welcome to Code Jana and today let's take a look at how to install OpenCV or CV2 in Python. So let's get started. So now let's create a folder because we want to keep things separate. All right. Let's see OpenCV install. Your project name can be anything. I'm just going with this. Now let's open PowerShell or command prompt if you like. And let's cd into that. So that's desktop and then open CV install. Now we are going to create a virtual environment inside it. That's virtual env and then venv for the folder name. If you want to check whether you have virtual environment or not, you can just double hyphen and then version and it will show you virtual and version number. So you can rest assured that you have virtual environment as do I. So now let's just do venv inside open cv install folder. It will take just a few moments. All right. Let's check. Okay. So we have venv. Now we need to activate that virtual environment. So we can simply type venv slash scripts and I'm pressing tab to complete the words and activate. And as you can see, this little VNV has appeared at the left corner of this line. So now we are working inside our virtual environment. Now we're just going to do pip install. And you would think that OpenCV install would be just as easy as typing OpenCV, but no. The actual name is OpenCV-Python. So now press enter. So it has successfully detected OpenCV underscore Python. It's 33 MB, so I'm just going to skip ahead. Okay, so it has collected NumPy, all the dependencies of OpenCV Python. Okay, so it has successfully installed OpenCV Python. And let's check the version, pip, show, and then OpenCV-Python. So yes, we have version 4.2 installed in our system. So let's exit out of it. Okay, so now let's create a simple program so that we can know that OpenCV has successfully installed in our system. So I have opened our folder OpenCV underscore install in VS code and we are going to create a file inside it. Let's name it OpenCV example.py and let's create a simple script to convert colored images into their grayscale counterpart. So let's import CV2 and as you can see that OpenCV and CV2 are the same thing, just a version ahead. So you don't type OpenCV, you type CV2 to import all the libraries regarding OpenCV. All right, now let's import NumPy as well because we are going to do some calculations in it. So NumPy as NM. Okay, so we are going to access the image read function first and we are going to pass a name and don't worry we are going to save an image named image.jpg we are just going to rename whatever the image name is so and now we are going to display that image so let's say image i am show this image function and let's take that image and show it as grayscale so we do that's wait key we are going to wait and then cv2 destroy all windows to all right so before we run this program we are just going to save a sample image in the same folder that we are creating our project in so that's opencv underscore example and i'm just going to copy a sample image Okay, so I have copied and pasted this save money together image and first of all, let's view it and this is how the image looks. So we are just going to rename it to the one that we imported there. Alternatively, we could also change the name here to the name that was before. Anyways, let's keep things simple. And now when we run this code, so either you can right click and run this file in current terminal or you can press this play button. All right, so it says that no module name CV2 found. So what happened there? Well, we need to run this from our current virtual environment. So let's log into that environment. That's scripts. Mm. Activate that environment. Great. 
and let's check if we have OpenCV installed or not. So pip show OpenCV dash Python. And there we go, we have OpenCV installed. So let's try to run this file again. Python and then OpenCV example by. And see, it has successfully run the file. So I'm going to open the original as well. Here it is. And here is the grayscale counterpart of that image. So our OpenCV example is working brilliantly. And it's just a small piece of code to convert images into grayscale. You can run a for loop and pass all the images that you have and it will be done in no time. So that's all for this video. Thank you for watching and please do like, share and subscribe to our channel. Thank you.